Hey guys, welcome back again for another edition of Will It Pick. Uh, I was just playing one of the songs that I wrote years ago uh, called Legacy. I actually have a couple videos on here, if I'm not mistaken, of that song. And um, if I'm not mistaken, you can do a search on my YouTube channel for that. Um, but this edition of Will It Pick will be going over one of my favorite all-time picks that I used to use a lot before I switched over to... Um, Originally, I switched over to uh, Dunlop 1.14 millimeters in the black Tortex. And the reason I switched over, I'll go over that here in just a little bit. Uh, but I actually, this is uh, the pick that I used before I switched over to that. And the Dunlop pick is the one that I was using in uh, my BluegrassGuitarEssentials.com uh, course. And that was before I knew about Blue Chip, before I, Dragonheart picks came out and all that. Uh, I, as most of you know, I, I, I use now uh, exclusively Dragon's Heart Pure guitar picks. Those are my favorites. And um, it took me a while to get used to the small size of them, but now I use these exclusively. I also have a blue chip for just whenever if I need to. Uh, on the blue chip, I used a TP50. But uh, I use this most of the time, 98% of the time, I'll use a Dragon's Heart pick. Well, this pick that we're going over today is the DeAndrea Proplec 1.5 millimeter pick, okay? Now, in comparison, the Dragon's Heart pick is a 2 millimeter, about a 2 millimeter, and the Blue Chip pick is about a, about a 1.5 millimeter. So, if this is about the same size as a Blue Chip, this has some amazing tone, I'll tell you. I don't know what it's, I think it's made out of some kind of resin, not exactly sure the actual, um, composite material or whatever it's made out of, uh, but I think it's some kind of resin. But it has a, t a tone that was just unmatched at the time I was using it. Nothing could come close to it. Uh, the reason I stopped using it is because it's a little warm, and when you're playing and you need to play some lead lines and all that, and you need to be louder than other instruments and have more of a treble to get past the deeper tones of like the mandolin and the bass and other guitars, it just didn't cut it. It didn't have a nice cut uh, to where it could cut through all that mix. So, but for warmer stuff, like The Legend of Captain John, Legacy, slow, you know, warm songs, this is a perfect pick if you're looking for a cheap pick to use and try out. These are about, last I checked was a long time ago, these are about, I don't know, I want to say $6 for a dozen. Uh, I usually, I originally used the standard, you know, the regular pick shape, but then I started using the uh, tri-point, that way when one point wore out, I could switch it and have another point. And that's what I use for my blue chip. I, the TP is triple point. But um, here's, let's let's see what uh, some of this uh, pick sounds like. Now, in comparison, let's hear the let's hear uh, the other various picks that I have on me right now. This is the Dragon's Heart pick. I'll just play um, some strummy stuff and then some picky stuff with these various picks, and you can hear the difference. Okay, so let's just do just a simple strum. Okay, so we'll just go with strums right now. Let's do the blue chip. Quite a bit brighter. And the last one I'll do is the actual Dunlop that I was talking about, uh, the black. Now, these are different than the purple. They sound completely different. So I got these in black and like those. Now this one had a, a good balance of uh, warmth and uh, treble so that I could cut through. So let's hear what it sounds like. And I'm sure you can hear the difference there. People who say that picks don't make a difference, they don't know what they're talking about because over the years, I've experimented with many picks, and they do make a difference. Now, let's go back to the one that I use now, and that is the um, Dragon's Heart. And you'll see the difference now in the Dragon's Heart. Okay. 
that's the dragon's heart. Let's go to the the one we're seeing will it pick, the DeAndrea Proplec 1.5 millimeter. Pretty good sound to it. Um, I just like the tone of the Dragon's Heart better. I've not been able to find anything to really match the tone, but this holds its own. Uh, it's a really good sound. Uh, let's hear the Dragon's Heart pick in uh, some of uh, some picking phrases. Okay, so I'll just I'll just do some picking phrases and try to try to do the same thing with each pick. So here's the Dragon's Heart. <laughs> Dragon's Heart, Blue Chip, same thing. Try to anyway. Blue Chip's quite a bit brighter than I remember. Now the D, uh, the Diadario, or excuse me, the Dunlop Tortex 1.14. Kind of weak compared to the others. Let's go back to the Dragon's Heart to give you a baseline, what I normally use. Okay, and now the D'Andrea Pro Plaque. I would say it sounds very similar to the blue chip. Let's go ahead and grab that one out. The blue chip may be a little bit brighter, okay? So let's try the blue chip. And then the pro play. So it definitely is a little darker, a little more mellow tone compared to a blue chip. And with the Dragon's Heart, the Dragon's Heart is just, I don't know, it just has a more volume, more oomph to it than uh, the Deandra. So here's the Deandra again. And the Dragon's Heart that I used to pure. Okay, so. For the Deandra Pro Plick, the verdict is, will it pick? Most definitely it will pick. This is uh, one of my top five probably all-time favorite picks. The Deandra Pro Plick really holds its own. Uh, I'd say right now on the bottom five is, on the bottom, number five is probably the Tortex 1.14, followed by the Deandra Pro Plick, followed by um, probably right now the v Pick. Which is one I uh, one of the will it pick view uh, videos that I did earlier when I first started doing these. Then the number two spot is probably held down by the blue chip, uh, and then number one is uh, way ahead of the rest of them in my opinion, and that is the Dragon's Heart Pure guitar pick. Now, uh, if you're interested in these picks, uh, I've actually done some reviews on all four of the Dragon's Heart picks that are popular right now. That's the GT, the original, the Pure. Uh, and the Hardened, and you'll find them on my YouTube channel. You can also check out their website at uh, www.dragonsheartguitarpicks, and that's dragons, uh, as in possessive form, not dragon heart, but dragon's heart, and not dragon hearts, dragonsheartguitarpicks.com. And if you have trouble finding it, you shouldn't, but if you do, just Google it, and it'll pull right up. So, Deandra Proplex, it definitely will pick. Uh, the reason I, I actually did this wanted to do this video is because lately I've been playing a lot of, uh, well not playing a lot of, but just this past week or so I went to a revival and I thought well I'm not going to take my guitar because I have to haul this thing around everywhere I go and sometimes you just want to go and not have to haul the thing around all the time. But they had their own guitars and that, this has happened several times. And have you ever picked up somebody else's guitar and you, you try to use their pick and it just doesn't work. They've got these flimsy picks that are less than like a millimeter thick. I mean, the lowest possible millimeter you can find. 
and you're sitting there flopping around, can't really pick anything, don't have any strength in the pick, don't have any force in the playing. And so I thought, forget it, I'm going to start bringing my own pick. So now I put a pick in my, my truck, I've got a pick in my wife's car, I've got a pick in my pocket I carry now. This is the one I'm carrying actually because it's got a best, the best overall rounded tone uh, for what I'd like to hear. And so now I'm carrying this in my pocket and that's where it's going right now. Um, because you never know when you need one. So have one in your wallet, have one in your car. Uh, the one in my wife's car, I actually stuck it in the visor. The little mirror has a door, so I slid it in that little sliding door, and that's where it's sitting now. So now I will not be without one of these picks if I'm somewhere, as long as I don't forget to have one on my person whenever I go to play another guitar, I should be fine. But that's it for this video. Will it pick the Deandra Proplec 1.5 mm? Yes, it will. I, I highly recommend it. Once again, you can go to ericbaitycom slash shop and do a search for that pick, and you'll be able to find it, no doubt, pull right up. Um, if you do purchase from that link, it does help and uh, give a portion of those proceeds go to me so that it helps me fund the channel and do um, create more products, create more videos and things like that. So that's one way of showing your support is by shopping with that link, ericbaity.com slash shop. And incidentally, also check out the blog, ericbaity.com. Uh, I try to keep a bunch of stuff posted on there. Uh, you can go to www.bluegrassguitaressentials.com and uh, get some more ideas on picking and getting those picks in, in line and more ideas on what I think about picks, capos, different gear reviews. Uh, the first webisode, if you go for the webisodes, the first webisode is free. You can download it for free. And it has a bonus sheet that comes loaded with my recommendations on uh, picks, capos, guitars, um, miscellaneous items like guitar straps, pick holders, things like that. You can get that absolutely free at bluegrassguitarcentrals.com. Thanks so much for watching today, and uh, we'll definitely have some more Willet Pick options for you later. Um, some people are asking me to review different picks, and right now I've got a smorgasbord of picks to review that, that are my, in my own personal collection. So I'm going to go through those first, and, and you know I really have no need to buy another pick. I'm satisfied with a um, the guitar, you know, the Dragon's Heart guitar pick. So until this wears out, I really have no need to buy another one. So I'm not going to go out purchasing picks just to review them. I've got plenty of them on my own. Now, you're more than happy to send them my way if you want to. And, um, but you can, you can find out more about that if you look at the other Will It Pick videos. I think I might have an address on how to get them to me or whatever. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to stop rambling, stop talking. Don't want to do, you know, bore you guys to death or whatever. And I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever that may be. Thanks so much. Keep on playing, and God bless.